Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, discussing about uh, olefin metathesis reaction in the past few lectures and in particular uh, in the last two lectures we have been focusing on ring closing metathesis reaction. Now uh, one thing which we have uh, noticed uh, that these uh, olefin metathesis reactions are thermoneutral reactions in, in the sense that uh, uh, there is no uh, the energy released is almost equal to uh, the energy needed for carrying out the reaction. So, there is no enthalpic gain uh, uh, as a during the course of the reaction and because of which this is not a enthalpy driven process. However, we had seen that uh, there are various other factors which uh, guide or drive the reaction forward. For example, uh, uh, in the case of ring opening uh, polymerization, uh, it is the release of uh, ring strain uh, that uh, drives the reaction forward. Similarly, uh, in case of uh, the reverse the ring closing met metathesis, what we had uh, observed is the formation of large macrocycle where ring strain becomes insignificant and the formation of uh, uh, gaseous product like ethylene uh, resulting from uh, the two terminal alkene which gets uh, reacted to each other as a process of olefin uh, metathesis. So, uh, 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 that drives the reaction. So, uh, there are instances where uh, the release of ring strain uh, carries the reaction forward as in the case in ring opening metathesis whereas in ring closing metathesis it is the formation of uh, ethylene molecule uh, which uh, drives the reaction forward because ethylene being gas uh, quickly. A, a, a gets out of the reaction uh, uh, vessel. And the same thing is observed for other uh, metathesis reaction for example, in ring opening metathesis polymerization uh, uh, ROMP or uh, even uh, uh, in some of the cross metathesis reaction uh, that uh, these uh, evolution of ethylene is seen as a driving force. Uh, for uh, getting the re, uh, reaction move, move forward. So, with that uh, let us uh, now focus on ring closing uh, metathesis reaction and in continuation with uh, yesterday's uh, or previous lecture uh, what uh, uh, we had observed that ring uh, closing metathesis uh, are mainly used for uh, making rings which are large macrocycles. And when there are uh, possibility of forming more than uh, uh, one ring or there is a possibility of forming multiple rings, what we had observed in our last uh, uh, discussion is the fact that the larger ring uh, with a lesser ring strength is the one which is favored and it is the one which is observed. So, uh, today uh, we move on with some more uh, uh, examples of ring closing uh, metathesis. examples. For this substrate These are acyclic amide tetra in derivatives uh, so one can envision uh, these having four uh, uh, double bonds has multiple uh, choices uh, for undergoing this ring closing metathesis and what we see that uh, the, uh, uh, the one which would uh, uh, undergo the ring closing metathesis depends uh, on the variety of factors including uh, in this particular case uh, uh, including in the substituent uh, which is present over here. For example, uh, uh, if R is equals hydrogen Uh, then the uh, major product 
of this reaction becomes uh, bicyclic 6 membered ring as is shown over here and that involves uh, 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 the ring closing metathesis occurring between uh, these two uh, uh, alkanes to give the following bicyclic compound. and this is the major product and these are called bicyclic delta lactam. However, uh, if R equals alkyl uh, then uh, what happens is strikingly different then uh, 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 the metathesis occurs between uh, these two uh, olefins which are on the nitrogen uh, uh, as well as uh, these two resulting in two five membered rings as is shown over here. and these are called N cyclo pentenyl gamma lactams. So, what we see over here uh, is that uh, uh, a story of differential reactivity in one case uh, 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 in the first case when R equals hydrogen then uh, uh, these two uh, uh, olefins undergo metathesis re uh, reactions ring closing metathesis to give this uh, bicyclic gamma lactam whereas when R uh, becomes uh, alkyl substituents more bulky uh, then the olefins on the uh, same uh, amine ligands uh, same side uh, they undergo uh, or ring closing metathesis to give this N cyclo pentyl uh, gamma lactam. So, uh, this is a very interesting bit and what we see this uh, same story of differential reactivity occurring uh, in many substrates which has uh, uh, multiple uh, 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 double bonds and in some cases uh, the ones which would give larger uh, microcycle is what is observed than uh, uh, the smaller one. A nice example uh, in continuation with this uh, discussion is uh, described uh, below. Uh, this is for the uh, substrate which has uh, uh, 4 double bonds and it is kind of a complex uh, structure. Uh, which I am going to uh, uh, draw over here. This is a protection group now for this uh, there is a possibility of uh, various kind of ring closing metathesis uh, that occur, uh, but the one which uh, uh, is favored is the one which uh, results in a larger uh, macro cycle and that is between uh, uh, these two uh, uh, olefin. So, this uh, can be sort of nicely uh, 
uh, written as as is shown here So, the metathesis uh, sort of uh, 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 takes place between uh, these two olefin uh, resulting in the desired substrate product uh, which is uh, which has a larger microcycle. as is shown over here. So, this is a large uh, uh, macro cycle and it is aptly, aptly called macro cycle alkene. Uh, there exist uh, other possibility as well. For example, one can think of uh, metathesis undergoing between these two olefins and in that case one can think of a structure or orientation something like Uh, in this case, the other uh, orient, uh, possibility is that one can think of a met metathesis like this and that would result in a five membered ring and that would give a product which would be and Uh, so, that would have uh, the following carbons uh, bearing uh, as is shown over here, uh, but uh, fortunately, uh, fortunately uh, 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 this product uh, is not formed, not observed, this 5 membered alkene. And this uh, is pro, uh, possibly because of uh, uh, the issue of larger ring strain uh, being present in small uh, uh, membered uh, cyclic structure than it is in the uh, big uh, cyclic structure. So, what we see uh, which is becoming evident uh, 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 over and over again is that this RCM is a very a powerful reactions, uh, but uh, they are, uh, have a particular purpose and the purpose is that uh, these are effective only for creating uh, large macro cycles uh, which has very less, uh, uh, less ring strain. So, for example, the one which is favored over here this macrocyclic alkene uh, <coughs> is about 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, it, it is a 14 membered ring. So, what we see that this 14 membered uh, macro cycle is favored uh, as opposed to uh, the other product uh, which can uh, could have been formed from metathesis of different alkenes uh, those uh, structures are not favored uh, in ring closing uh, metathesis. Uh, now uh, uh, the ring closing metathesis also goes beyond the uh, domain of uh, achiral uh, uh, reactions to oh, chiral uh, reactions as is shown here in the few examples and these are called asymmetric ring closing metathesis and uh, in short they are called ACRM. All a R C M. A nice example of this is uh, demonstrated below. Now, uh, this uh, the the catalyst use is quite elaborate. Like in other uh, uh, catalyst, uh, th this one is quite. It is a molybdenum uh, imido. a carbon complex with uh, T butyl dimethyl So, these are two R's of the bulky group and then the carbene fragment which is also bulky with two methyls and one phenyl. So, this catalyst uh, 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 was reported by Hoveda. Two thousand one, and this reaction NEAT reaction at twenty two degrees centigrade in five minutes gives uh, the desired product which involves the metathesis between. this olefin and this olefin resulting in the formation of a five membered ring 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the corresponding product is a cyclic ether plus V 
phenyl alkene. This reaction uh, is highly uh, stereospecific results in our stereochemistry in 93 percent yield and 99 percent E. Now, uh, to note here also is the fact that there exists a possibility of other ring closing metathesis reaction happening uh, which is between these two olefin, but uh, that would uh, uh, result in highly constrained cyclopropane ring uh, uh, which would be something uh, like this. And uh, these these product, which will be, is never observed, not observed, or not formed. So uh, you know, what we see uh, in ring closing metathesis over and over again that there exists always a possibility a, a of uh, differential reactivity and the reaction which uh, uh, gives uh, rise to product with. Uh, our rings microcycles with less uh, uh, or lesser ring strain is the one which is favored. So, here in this case we saw that a ring with uh, 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 a 5 membered ring uh, was favored uh, as opposed to uh, a 3 membered ring over here. Uh, so, that uh, uh, is, is what highlights uh, uh, this uh, ring. Uh, closing metathesis reactions. We are going to take a look at another example of asymmetric uh, ring closing metathesis or ARCM examples. Now, this is for this particular alkene amine And and this is also a amido uh, carbene complex of tungsten, as is drawn over here. These have elaborate ligand architectures. a benzene ring and a cyclohexyl ring fused and also bulky CHPH2 substituents. Bound to tungsten with uh, imido phenyl imido mighty with two methyls on the phenyl ring and a carbene bound to tungsten with two methyl and phenyl. So, this is the elaborate carbon catalyst and what the way it reacts is the reaction that occurs between this and uh, this olefin resulting in a 6 membered ring uh, 
uh, which can be envisioned if I draw it in this representation. and here the numbered atoms are so which will undergo metathesis to give the corresponding product is shown over here. This uh, macrocyclic compound. So, uh, 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 this is another example of asymmetric ring closing metathesis. And with this uh, we come to the end of discussion of today's lecture on uh, various aspects of ring closing metathesis. We have looked into various examples a chiral as well as the chiral one and we have also uh, uh, noted uh, the, uh, uh, the, the main feature which visible in all of the reaction is that the uh, formation of uh, a larger ma uh, macro cycle uh, through ring closing me mechanism is favored uh, uh, in cases where uh, there is uh, less of a ring strain. So, uh, in terms of, uh, uh, of uh, getting products with predicting products with respect to ring closing metathesis uh, thesis reaction. So, one sees that when there are multiple opportunity of ring closing metathesis exist on a substrate with different alkenes, the one uh, which is favored will have uh, 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 comparatively a less ring strain and larger macro cycles in that uh, uh, process. So, uh, with this we come to today's discussion, uh, closing of today's discussion on ring closing uh, metathesis reaction. We are going to take it, uh, take this uh, metathesis reaction in much more details uh, when we meet in the uh, uh, subsequent uh, lecture. And uh, uh, with that, uh, I once again thank you for being with me in this uh, lecture and look forward to being with you in the next lecture when we take up uh, uh, various other examples of ring closing metathesis that exist and discuss them uh, in great detail. Till then thank you and goodbye.